Alrighty, salutations. Let's get to today's topic. Respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's right. So uh, imagine this. You're there in the morning, got your headphones in. You're at your school, the, you know, the schoolhouse with the bricks, the school bell, the whole nine yards. Let's call this school PCTA. And you're hanging outside, you know, you got your hoodie on, contemplating the bigger questions in life. Yeah, crazy stuff, like, what am I doing here? What, no, really, what am I doing here? And then, of course, a Range Rover drives by, and you're like, whoa, hey, nice ride. Wait. What do I care if that guy's got a nice ride? I'm not the one driving it. What is it about this ride that's so fancy? Well, I think it's the fact that money gets mad respect. But what about Mr. Obama? He's got some thoughts on the topic, too. Not specifically on mad mo- money getting mad respect, but maybe on some other topics, like when you hit your, your only ambitions to making a buck in life, you know, focusing on that, shows the poverty of ambition. What is a poverty of ambition? Just it kind of means you aim low, you you get low. You aim high. You know the the world is 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 basically at your fingertips. Only when you hit your wagon to something larger than yourself. What's something larger than yourself? Something larger than just achieving a material goal. It's still it's about respect. So if it's not about money, if respect isn't about money, what is it about? Let's talk about three different forms, styles, methods of respect. Let's take a look at the first one. It's pretty famous. Let's talk about respect in prison. You know, because you hear about respect in prison all the time. What's what is it about people in prison that needs you need to have respect? Well, if you want to gain respect in prison, you got to be tough. You got you, you don't show any weakness at all. Don't snitch. And you got to fight to show you're not a punk. All right, and last but not least, you got to keep to yourself. Don't don't ask any questions outside the box. What about this? These guys get mad respect. You want to talk about mad respect? That Range Rover isn't anything compared to the military. No matter who you talk to, rich people, poor people, conservatives, liberals, they all love the military. Why? How do these guys achieve this level of respect? Well, I think it's because they show respect themselves. All right? They display military courtesy, saluting, respect of of the rank. No matter who you are or what you, you, you're a leader. You're listening to your leaders. You're always asking questions. I need to fulfill this mission. What do I need to do? And they're, of course, last but not least, they're following orders and they're speaking clearly and effectively. That's what these guys are doing, and they get mad respect. Not to mention the fact that they're on a two-way firing range. Now, last but not least, you get this guy over here, superhero man. Let's talk about superhero respect. Everyone loves him. He answers to nobody, and he fights and wins all the time. The fact of the matter is, he's imaginary, right? He's not real. So really, let's talk about these two. Let's let's actually reflect just for a second. Let's go back. We're sitting in front of school, contemplating, got the headphones in. What type of respect am I demonstrating in school? No, really. Think about it. We've we've talked about prison respect. We've talked about military respect. There's probably some other models out there we can talk about, and we will. But what kind of respect am I demonstrating in school? What kind of respect am I learning to demonstrate as a result of my actions at school? Really, think about it. Hmm. Interesting. What am I doing here? Isn't that the question we started with? What am I doing here? Am I demonstrating the type of respect that's going to gain me a military career, a military success? Am I demonstrating the type of respect that you might find in prison? If so, if I can relate more to prison than I can to the military, it begs the question, what am I preparing myself for? What are you preparing yourself for?